video is about uh, structured water and uh, these uh, chalice devices that my friend uh, Jerry Durand at uh, interstellar, durandinterstellar.com uh, produces. You can uh, find him at the link below and uh, check out his offerings and see if these devices are for you. They're quite quality. I've just been demoing without <laughs> any sound turned on, so they're all used at the moment. He'd sent me a couple and I'll get to them in just a minute. We're out here. Very foggy morning on November 11th, uh, 2016 here in Olympia, Washington. Uh, a lot of chemtrails mixed in with the fog, I'm quite sure. That's just the way it is around here. So, anyway, uh, the subject of today's talk is water. Uh, the stuff that makes up 80% uh, of what you are. And uh, it's really cool stuff, water. Uh, we're told in schools that it's, um, uh, water exists as H2O, two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. And uh, while that is true, it's also false uh, in the sense that you can't find a, um, hydro or a water molecule and show it to somebody. You can alter the state of water, freeze it, and do some stuff with gold plating and, and put it underneath a, um, a scanning electron microscope and have a quick glimpse of the image that the gold reflects back from you. But the underlying molecule doesn't really exist because you've altered it in the form of ice. So we're told that um, in school that water is H2O and that's two hydrogen atoms that are bound to one oxygen atom. And the oxygen atom is a larger structure and uh, and more dense and it sort of pulls in the two hydrogens you can think of it that way but you can't ever get an, uh, a water molecule and uh, we don't ever interact with water in any of any of the static state that you might be able to achieve in order to be able to look at it so in other words uh, yes we can consume ice and, and deal with it that way but the very fact that we consume the ice uh, our bodies warm it up and change it back into water and we do so in order to get this part right here which is the lattice work between the hydrogen and the and the oxygen the energetic uh, connection if you will the, what they call the um, covalent bonds the the connection between one atom or ion and another uh, is energetic it's a like a magnetic attraction in a, in a crude sense that's how we interact with water as water consuming beings as big sacks of water walking around the planet and so we need to get our water in this form we can't take it boiling where it's all the all the energy is all these energy connections are very vaporous and very ethereal and boiling away nor can we take it as ice we need it in this little goldilocks range of just right for us and so this is what uh, water actually is it's this um connection the water connection is uh, part of who we are as well so for instance um, some people are sensitive to uh, electronic devices especially things like fluorescent bulbs and they are so sensitive because we are sacks of water walking around on the planet and because they're water they have that energetic connection between the hydrogen and the oxygen that to some degree is more dynamic than those individuals around them and so they feel the intrusion in that energy field of the energy fields being put out by the fluorescent fixtures and so some people are electronically sensitive and again it happens through their water molecules um, water can be used um, Water can be more effectively used by the human body when the water itself is in a lattice form that is more agreeable to the human body. Uh, we notice when we go to high mountain areas that have um, bubbling brooks and, and springs and this kind of thing, uh, we get this particular kind of water that makes us feel very energetic. When we consume it, our, our cells feel uh, instantly replenished. Re replenished. 
uh, very replete with um, uh, something that makes us feel good. Uh, our cells feel uh, full at that stage. Uh, unlike the dehydration that you might feel after being, say, hours in a city, uh, that, that kind of a sensation. And so we also know that when we go and we drink water in the, in the high mountain area, sometimes in um, uh, uh, areas of um, uh, ion activity like um, uh, beach areas, beach resorts, and these kind of things, the water tastes better. It, it actually feels better going into us. And this is, this is noticeable and you can sense it. And uh, you get used to it if you live there long enough, but if you're just traveling through, it's a marvelous pick-me-up as you go through. So uh, the water does that for us because the lattice work, the connection that exists among all of these millions of water molecules um, is, uh, is in a dynamic state that is more in equilibrium with our particular dynamic energetic state as well. And so when this occurs, you get that burst of energy from that particular kind of water. Now you think Oh, it's that water, and so uh, you get the you get the idea that oh, it's this particular water, and fortunes are made, right? You've got water in some spring in some mountain area, and some guy tastes it. He's uh, in his 40s, and all of a sudden his ED goes away, and he's feeling really recharged. He's got his mojo back, and he's a rich fellow, and so he sets up a big uh, plant there to bottle it, and his uh, intent is to provide uh, these healing waters to everybody throughout the planet. Well, that's a good intent, but it doesn't work. Yes, the people that go there get the healing effect, but the mere, mere um, uh, bottling process of, of dealing with the water defeats the purpose because it, it uh, alters the very thing you're after, which is the uh, energetic fields that are created within the water at that spot, at that moment, there. And so you remove them, you put them through the, the bottling process, and the fields are flattened, and nobody gets the effect that he's trying to achieve, uh, which is the same thing that got him there. So, um, so water is very interesting. Uh, we have, uh, as humans, we have huge association with water in a healing process all throughout the, the planet, all these um, springs and natural sp spaces where water is providing us something that we don't have in our bodies at a given point, and thus we think we uh, are being healed by it, and in many cases we are. But it's that energetic transfer that comes from the water that is the important part of what's going on. So that energetic uh, transfer uh, exists because water in nature wants to do um, this kind of stuff when going down a mountain. And the reason that it does that kind of stuff when going down a mountain is basically to create or harmonize or, or um, uh, not manufacture, but um, uh, elicit from nature a, a vortex or a whorl effect within the water itself. This is what we're drinking, is the connection between the hydrogen and the oxygen. That connection among millions of molecules is the very uh, fluid that is that we're, we're seeking. We don't care so much really about the hydrogen and the oxygen molecules. In specific cases, they do good for us. So for instance, when you wake up in the morning, you're dehydrated, the process of sleeping makes you dehydrated. The very first thing you should do is drink some water because the uh, oxygen and the hydro hydrogen are separated. The hydrogen is put with um, uh, separated chlorine in your body to make uh, hydrochloric acid, which you'll need to digest your food, and the oxygen is, is sent to replenish um, the oxygen in your cells that have been exhausted from sleeping at night. And so at that level, those individual uh, atoms, hydrogen and oxygen, do us some good. But really the point of drinking water is, is not to uh, get filled with hydrochloric acid and, and bubble up with oxygen. The, the point of drinking water is to get that energy balance that comes from that layer within the energy connection of the hydrogen and the oxygen molecules, which are more harmonious in your body if that, ox or if that water has gone through this kind of a process. And the, and the process is, can be um, man-made, and you can, you can create that process by simply swirling your water fast enough and, and with enough uh, energy that you get a vortex in it that's quite sizable and let it go long enough. I, I, I don't have the, the strength or the time for that. So you can get it another way using um, uh, my friend Jerry Duran's uh, chalices here. Uh, I don't know if, if anybody else online 
uh, manufacture something like these. Uh, Jerry does. I've been using his for years. They're a high quality uh, 3D printing uh, uh, production process. They're just, just fantastic devices for providing structured water on the go. Uh, structured water from the dead flat water you might get in uh, the um, uh, plastic water bottles. And they work by creating that vortex, which we'll try and see if we can get to be visible here. But the vortex is uh, created as it exits our little hole there. And so the water just literally flows through faster than, in my opinion, than it should. Uh, without the structure in here and it actually changes the lattice work. You'll notice I noticed it when I first started drinking Jerry's water especially in un unstructured water um, My house water is already structured so the but even then the the difference is noticeable because I'm structuring my my house water and sending it through straight lengths of pipe thereafter so some of that structure is lost but within the with these devices, you can uh, re-energize water on the go. Uh, they're very portable. They're lightweight. They're plastic. They're easy to wash. And um, uh, something that um, you need to consider, and that is to go and check out all of the health benefits uh, for using structured water in your daily life. Uh, we do around here, and I notice the difference. And uh, Jerry's devices are a very um, inexpensive way to uh, get involved with structured water and see if you'll feel the uh, difference as I did. And they're uh, really kind of cool. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is the end of our talk on structured water. You can go to um, www.interstellar.com for Jerry Duran's uh, offering in these uh, form of these chalices that you can take with you, structure your water on the go, interesting little devices, a reasonable approach to find out if structured water can aid you in dealing with all of the uh, challenges of modern life, including chemtrails, uh, pollution in cities, uh, energetic um, electromagnetic influences, etc. Thank you for watching.